live. RX Superstar. We are live. We are live. We are live. What's up, everybody? This is another episode of The Plug with RX Superstar. I'm RX Superstar. And today we're playing on Tuesdays. Let's, no, we're playing on Throwback Thursday. Sorry, Throwback Thursday. We're playing Need for Speed 2017, the remastered version from the 2015 and from the original story. This one was based on the Fast and the Furious series and all the rest of the Need for Speed games. You know how this goes. We pick fly cars. We go race other people. We chase the, the cops chase us, blah, 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 blah. We're going to get into this. But I have a special guest today on season two, the first guest, and I have KD Swagger from Yup, I Like Wrestling. What's going on, everybody? Welcome. Yes, welcome. KD Swagger, welcome. the co-founder of Yup, I Like Wrestling. Co-founder. It's, it's a brand for wrestling fans. If you are a wrestling fan, man, you need to check out Yup, I Like Wrestling. Yeah, I need to come to Yup, I Like Wrestling, viewing parties, every yes. pay-per-view. Yes. They got one coming out this Friday. Um, Crown right. Drool, WWE. Count, not count, Crown Drool, count, Crown Jewel. Crown Jewel. Like the jewel, like mm -hmm. the like the queen, like the jewel, like the crown jewels, like jewels in your ring, your favorite rappers and yep. stuff like that. You know, Even and then your teeth too, because they right now teeth, they some everybody, jewels with the teeth. No, but speaking about the teeth, you know what I've seen recently is that they stopped using the grills and stuff. And okay. they start seeing this guy. From overseas, I'm not gonna mention the country and name the doctor because I ain't trying to be sued by nobody. But if you go to him, it's five hours, no anesthesia, mm -hmm. no sh no shedding your teeth because you know how people <laughs> like to even their teeth out uh -huh. and they kind of look like George Washington with his wooden teeth. Like, don't do that, folks. Don't don't break your teeth. Don't shred them That's down. That's right. Don't break don't, your teeth. Don't walk into a party. Breaking your teeth. Don't 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 do none of that. Leave your teeth alone. Just go clean them. That's it. Just go clean them. Just pay that five hundred dollars uh -huh. and just go clean them. But if you go see who I'm talking about, it's a five hour process. It's about twelve grand American dollars. Was it twelve grand? Twelve or thirteen grand? Mostly okay. fifteen. I rounded off to fifteen grand. Mm -hmm. Right, just like that, like a rent, like rent in New York. So you see a lot of people like that. You see um six nine. I seen who else I seen with that? Um anybody, I seen a lot of wrestlers, Diamond Dallas Page. Any, to any, do it. Have you seen anyone from our parties doing that? No, I didn't <laughs> see nobody. I don't think anybody would do something like that though. I think everybody just do it the old fashioned way with Colgate, uh -huh. with water, a little bit of hot water, warm water, whatever they use, and just brush their teeth. Or some people they put the the toothbrush inside the skull. Okay. And they brush their teeth like that and stuff. I don't know. I use the uh, you different. Wipe your teeth like that? I, when I use the white in my teeth, I use the the charcoal toothpaste. Oh, okay. The coal, the coal, is black toothpaste. But if you if you brush your teeth, they got a minty flavor and stuff like that. It tastes like spearmint. But if you brush your teeth, it leaves your teeth no stains. It's, it brightens really? it up. You know what I mean? Even though I use the Colgate because the Colgate, you know, it, start, it stops all the plaques and stuff like I that. I mean, you learn something new every day, man, so I didn't know about that, man. To whiten my teeth, I use Colgate. I'm just a regular dude I'm going like to turn that. down the music because it kind of bright infringements. Okay, it's cool. Boy. We got everything. Cops are going to be chasing us, all yeah, that stuff. that's right, man. We'll you guys are hearing problem. this stuff. Yes, we're going to save the changes. We got uh, KD Swag in the building. I'm humble to be yep, here. I like wrestling. Y'all gotta go check out their podcast, follow them all, their YouTube stuff. Uh -huh. Yes, we're up here this time. We're up here this time. I have KD, we in the screen. You can see the couch in the back. He got his shirt on. I got my shirt on. And if you like my shirt, if you are a wrestling fan, you can get the shirt at prowrestlingtees.com forward slash yep, ILW. I need a shirt. And then I need, I need one of those, but like RX Superstar 5. Like we got throw gold on there. We got throw gold on there with a little bit of crimson pink. You know what I'm saying? With a black shirt in the back, little gold letters, little crimson pink. I don't even know about crimson nah, pink. Nah, nah, nah. You ain't nah, even nah, heard nah, about nah, that nah, before. Nah, nah, That's nah, that nah, neon nah. light pink when you walk inside a black room. <laughs> All right. That's so, what's up. so like I said today on Throwback Thursday, we are playing Need for Speed, mm -hmm. one of the fran one of the game classics franchises that everybody knows. Everybody went to Thanksgiving, had families over, played this game. Somebody in your family is an auto mechanic fiend or whatever he is, or someone who's just fascinated. Or with Uber cars. driver. Or Uber driver. That'd be a cool game. <laughs> a need for speed, like you're an Uber driver. 
if you, if you stole that idea from us. So oh, what we do here on the Plug with RX Superstore, and thank you for being a guest, uh, season two, which is, I'm not too sure, I'm not, you know, it is Throwback Thursday, you know, I might miscalculate it a little bit, but we probably thank you, thank you. You got to be consistent about things. You got to do your stuff. So on the screen, like I tell everybody, read the descriptions. It helps you out in the game. Nobody's going to sit digital era and you can go to YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube on the bottom right there. See the description right there. Make sure you hit that. Shout out to all the YouTubers out there that's watching. Shout out to all the Twitch, Twitch people out there. Shout out to everybody from Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Follow me on all those social media outlets. Besides following them, you can follow me too. And besides following him, besides following us, you can also follow me personally, KD underscore Swagger on Twitter, KD underscore Swagger 914 on Instagram, YouTube, it's youtube.com forward slash KD Swagger, no underscore in the middle. You can find Yep, I Like Wrestling, log on to our website, yepilw.com. All social media platforms, Yep, ILW. Or you can look us up on Yep, I Like Wrestling. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, Tuned In, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, name it, and we're on it. If we're not on it, then hey, tell us about us. Tell us, let us know to get it. Like a Twitch. We're going to work on that one. Um, you can also find us on SoundCloud as well, man. We're, we're, not, we're not difficult to find. We're going to have a promoter battle today folks a promote <laughs> battle today folks we're gonna have a promote battle so we started the game earlier because you know uh kd really doesn't play video games like that but he does come from the era when video games yes. was popping he does get it popping the street fighter he does get he does play this the nba 2k he does play the wrestling games and stuff like that but i don't know if you ever played need for speed or are familiar with any type of racing game or stuff like that i you probably played mario kart but this is uh, like yes, way advanced mario, mario, kart. mario kart 3 for nintendo that used to be my game even though i've always been a um a sega guy sega genesis guy later on became Ooh, a PlayStation genesis. guy. so as kd is playing right now he got the 401 of how to play the game right now that's his car he gonna introduce what kind of car he picked I'd rather let him talk about it. Right. I, I, I picked a um, Honda Civic, man. That's how you know I'm Latino, man. You got to get that hooked up Civic, you know what I mean? Shout out to all the Dominicans out there, my people yes. out there. Shout out to all the Puerto Ricans out there. Shout out to the whole Latin community out there. Shout out to everybody out there, period, V. Yeah, especially shout out to all the Dominicans. For those who don't know, I'm Dominican descent. Both my parents were born we in the Dominican white Republic. We Latinos, Yes, man. we're very light-skinned, man. <laughs> You know, even though I was born in uh, Yonkers, New York, that's where my parents Shout out to met. Yonkers, New York. Shout out to every borough out there. Shout out to everybody out there. Yonkers, New York. So, let's. So KD comes from Yonkers, New York. I was born. I was uh, raised in Harlem. I was born in the Bronx. And you know, KD's from Yonkers. You know, everybody knows from Yonkers. If you listen to music, you know, Jada Kiss, The Locks, Styles P, all in that group. DMX, who went poke the multi. Mm -hmm. Platinum, you know, not the crazy, you know, bugged out DMX, you know, the real rough ride of DMX that got you amped up, that got you hype. You want to punch somebody in the face. You want to go hard in the gym. You want to draw, draw, throw a dumbbell at the mirror and say, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you want to slap a girl ass just for a minute, but you can't do none of that. Excuse my profanity because you go to jail. Now, what do I do here, man, before I... So, right here, you souping up your car. So... That's your money right there. That's your Skrilla, your money, uh -huh, the dinero, uh -huh. your coins, your doublooms, okay. whatever everything out there. Shout out to all the viewers out there. I'm Arvick Superstar. We got, thank you for tuning in. We got a special guest in the house, KD Swagger from Yup, I Like Wrestling. Yeah, man. You can catch him at all the events. You can catch him on the YouTube. You can catch him on the social media. He's a real cool dude. Go meet him. Go chill with him. Yes. You can see me chill with out there and everything. So we got somebody out there. Shout out to Reese out there, my co-host and stuff like that. You know, that's my co-host right there. We're going to get into it. And that's my I, boy, Bozzy. You can check him out on season one. He will be coming back to the show. How do I get out of this, though, to start racing? So, I know, I know we get out of this. Racing. So, we will see the, on the bottom that's behind, below us right there. So, mm -hmm. we have select and we have back. So, like a Street Fighter or any other game, you press back. So, when we go back, we press back again. So, we keep going back. So, now we go back to the main menu. Mm -hmm. And it should have something here that allows us to go back. And if not, we press back again. And then we press back again. So, when it gives us this option right here, we click yes. I know, I know. But we're not going to say yes. We're going to say yup. Yup. We're going to switch yes to yup. <laughs> no such thing as yes. It's yup. We're going to stick the yup. 
And, all right, let me see in the comments, yup, if y'all understand. And and yup, we are a brand for wrestling fans. <laughs> Reese, yep. is, Reese is saying boost it. <laughs> he may, we ain't about to, we about to. But everybody know Need for Speed. This one is basically the remake of one of the classics, like they doing now to other games, is bringing back like Final okay. Fantasy Seven, like the, the the two big graphics games, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. games that we saw on Super Nintendo NES. Okay. They remastered them like this, the way the digital era is. Because before we started the show, you know, I got to express this because this was kind of cool to learn for someone is that he hasn't played a game in a while, so. When he seen like the, the the cut scenes, he was like at first he forgot he was playing a game because the graphics have changed so much. It's like you're playing a movie now. And I was yeah. that's what I was explaining is that the way games are now is they give you that movie quality, they give oh. you that TV series quality that you sit down and you feel like you're playing this movie. Okay. Yeah. yeah you know I, mean, I mean, I, I mean, I've never seen it before. This is the first time I've ever seen something like that. You know, I grew up on the uh, Sega Genesis, Sega era, so I'm not too... And, you know, I, I go all the way up to uh, PlayStation 2. Okay. PlayStation 3 and 4, I haven't yeah. really played like that. Need for Speed uh, Pursuit was out at that time. That was the first time the cops... Were, that's when the Need for Speed went off, like, off-road. Mm -hmm. speaking, speaking of, to... of off-road, I think I'm off-road because I don't see no blue tracks on the floor. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going. I'm trying to find it, man. So what would you do now is the house right there, that's your garage, right? So you see that little circle dot that's right uh -huh. there? You have to go to that dot right okay. there. Okay, all right. Sometimes they pull up the map of the circle and stuff like that. I will be helping KD, so I will be grabbing the controller sometimes. Yo, trust me, man, before we, uh, we start. So right now, he's driving. You can see the graphics. Anybody familiar with Grand Theft Auto that's playing now. Yeah, I'm actually familiar it's with kinda, that. It kind of reminds you, it resembles that. So we got so we got Reese in the uh, chat room going, yup, yup, yup. Wait, what was it that they, what was it? Because Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn try to steal their stuff. Yeah, yeah, man. They I'm to. controversial, I don't care. You can't sue me. I don't got nothing for you to sue me for. You be well, What we did was we made, uh, we turned that into, uh, yep, yep, yep. I like wrestling. All right, so we got something right now because KD got lost and he just crashed. Yo, I, I swear, but when we started this... I was doing a whole lot better before we when got on the air. you are out of sight of the uh, chasing cops, so... All right, you on cool down right now. So let me see the controller real quick. Yeah, let me get me to that blue, man. I, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but I was doing. Nah, a lot you got to apologize. Earlier. Here's live. This is the, all the part of the video games because that when you got to go to your settings, you got to check things mm -hmm. out. So yeah, man. I mean, so the cops are chasing you. So mm -hmm. you got to outrun the cops. So basically, what you got to outrun the cops is like you got to really be. The driver behind the wheel. Mm. So, okay, escape. Escaping the cops removes the fine and heat on you and rewards with a rep points. The amount of rep is determined by the amount of heat on you when you escape. So is a meter. I hope we're not blocking the meter. He's my lawyer, man. He I reads and he, he tells I me what he. I need to do. I, <laughs> I ain't a lawyer. I Got my me. side patch, kids. You know what? I'm going to go. Wait, 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 wait. Man, wait. Hey, you're not supposed to name that now. <laughs> so today's snacks are, today's snack. He was excited about the snacks. Does everybody know when you come on the show, the snacks. So we rock in like Tuesday. We rock in the sour patches again because I bought a whole bunch of my them. favorite. He didn't even know it was my favorite. Wow, that's crazy. We got a cheers. Say hey, cheers. 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 The sour patches. What snacks you guys are snacking on right now, Reese? We know you're snacking you in right now. Can't play video games without snacking, man. So KD. So now we playing the game, and we gotta understand that stuff like that. You know, Ooh. we know you came from Yonkers, New York. How was it like you growing up and stuff when um when video games came about? Cause He's a big music head fan, guys. Real hip hop head. Like hip hop sports. 90s wrestling, sports. Movies. Like he's sports illustrated, bro. Like the podcast. Like he's I ESPN. That, I'm, I'm pretty I'm humbled by that. Like he could make his own little podcast. I'll be telling him to do that. We kinda do with the Yep I Like Wrestling podcast, but yeah, sports podcast. I would love to do that. Um specifically on baseball, basketball, and football, because those are three sports that I specialize in okay. as a fan. Okay. But growing up in Yonkers, New York, playing video games, you know, I was born at St. John's Hospital, the same hospital that Jada Kips was born, and I went straight to um Mofa Gardens. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> Mofa Gardens is the projects that I was that I grew up in my first eight years. Okay. That's the at the time the largest projects in Yonkers, New York. Videos like Dipset Anthem by Dipset. Um, DMX, DMX slipping. Also, um, Aaliyah and DMX back in one piece. Those no, videos were filmed in Mofa Gardens, and 
I remember being there and a lot of other people were, they can't, they couldn't afford video games and my parents, they worked hard, they couldn't really afford video games, but we always, me and my brother Elvin, we always wanted, but not to we cut always, you off, we I'm always gonna, wanted, not to cut you off right there, but okay. what, what you said, you ain't have video games or whatever, but video games is, to me was, like before video games, it was board games. So oh, it course. had to be a board game in your house. It had to oh, be man, some like, entertainment. That's that's like actually a board game I never like that. I never realized. Before that. we get into that, before we get into that, this is whenever you get lost or whatever, you have a phone like in Grand Theft Auto. So what I'm in right now is in my text messages. You have to talk to your crew. You have to talk to your people. It's just like you set up your own crew. You talk to your people. You mm -hmm. know your pinpoint. You on some real Fast and the Furious like one type of joint you dig what mm -hmm. i'm saying when they did at the end when they had the black cars mm -hmm. i'm thinking it was like a night rider flea mm -hmm. you know what I'm, saying? I'm getting hyped and stuff like that but basically that's what this game is about it's just like that scenario but back to what kd was saying um so a lot of people couldn't afford video games and they couldn't afford you go see them that's what you gotta go do okay. you click on them mm -hmm. and you go see them okay so I remember me and my brother wanted an Atari, but at the time, my parents couldn't afford it. Atari, wow. So Sega came around. So we had to get Sega. Street Fighter, Sonic. So I think in the, um, um, for, for Christmas in 1987 or 88, my parents got a Sega. Sega Master System. And we played that for Yo, he said night. the Sega Master, Master System. System. That that came mm -hmm. a few a few bundles of those came out. That came with everything. And right? then you know I was I was in Mofa Gardens for my first eight years, and then I moved over. Bazzi, to you the, had one. The, Bazzi, you had one. I moved over to the um the south side of Yonkers. South uh, side. To the south side of Yonkers, New York, and you know there was there was no picnic, Make no sure jungle. You drink some of that water. Don't choke on the show. No, bro. I'm not on that show, man. <laughs> Man, choke, man. But yo, I, I hear you. I'm looking at the uh, the TV and I'm hearing the thing. I was like, yo, please, so, don't choke. So you know, <laughs> there's no jungle, or whatever. It's it's you know, it's 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 a rough side of neighborhood over there. All rough right. side of Yonkers. This is where you shine right now. Okay. So what we gotta do is uh, race to the finish line in a point and point sprint race. You know what a sprint race is? Mm -hmm. when we see NASA. Mm -hmm. Those race. He is sport guy. I know he watched NASA. I know. Of course. I know he watched NASA. Of I like course. the movie Cars. That's two different things, but same mm -hmm. thing. So I moved over to the south Pass side. To you. So basically, you're just racing right now. You just got to go forward. You know how to drive, accelerate, do uh -huh. your thing. But like he was saying, he grew up in Yonkers, New York. So south I was side. south side. So my parents, you know, after that, we ended up getting um, Sega Genesis. So I was hooked with the Sega Master System, and I was even more hooked with the Sega Genesis. And, um, you know, our parents, whatever video game we wanted, they ended up getting us because of the fact that... You know, they didn't want us to be in the streets. Shout out to the parents that kept their kids in the home. You know what I mean? So, um, where do I go here? I go, I got to turn around. That's, that's yeah, what it is. Turn around. There we go. Uh, mofos, mofos. Right put the, there. Mofos put the arrow in the wrong. No, you got to do a sprint. You're doing a sprint race. Oh, sprint race. Oh, I thought it was like, thought it was like the way it was before. But, you know, my parents, they, they wanted me at home. So, they brought me whatever video game me and my brother wanted as long as we did good at, in, in the home and in school and a lot of parents that have things like that which is very beautiful true so you know being south side of yonkers you know what i'm saying and growing up going to school talking video games with some of my friends games like michael jackson's moonwalker which just completed 30 years of existence this past week turn turn you had to bust the yui right there oh man i don't even know where to go now that's what's cool about my show you see playing a video game while we talk to interview multitasking i'm gonna accelerate your brain cells everyone so, um, you know, you go to school, you talk to, you know, video games, like games like uh, Moonwalker, Michael Jackson, Sword of oh, a Million. Oh, that's my favorite game. Alter Beast, Sonic the Hedgehog, Ultra Mortal Kombat, Beast. Streets of Rage. Yo, you can watch Streets of Rage, you can watch all that stuff on season one. You know what I mean? Those are games that I grew up on and, you know, me and my friends, me and my cousins, me and my brothers. You know what I mean? We, we used to just all watch... You know, play those games and watch our friends playing them, man. You know what I mean? Classic games like Wasn't Double that Dragon. the best just beating your friend in Street Fight or Mortal Kombat? Oh, man, it was like, yeah, man. take that, Ninja. You, know you don't want it. You can talk, talk. Do the rating, them. do the rating code, and um, in the second match, you hold on Y, and you do the super uppercut, and the head come off. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Mortal Kombat. I still Kombat. remember that shit. Mortal Kombat. Raiden was my dude for a little bit, but most of the time, it was... um. All right, reset. We got zero. Reset. We got to look for challenges. We got to do challenges. But right now, he is doing the challenge right now. I don't even know where the hell I'm going, kid. 
So I think I just did a U-turn right now. But yeah, more to come back. My guy was Sub Zero. Raiden was my guy for a little bit. Street Fighter was all Ken, Ken all day. You know? I'm a Ken Massive fan. Ryu was my backup. America. You know what I mean? And um, Ryu was my warm up. It's like you had to beat Ryu for me to pick Ken. And yeah. then once I pick Ken, I'm not getting off the. I'm not getting off the arcade. Put your quarters on the cor on corner. Line them up. Cause I'm taking all of that. One of my games back in the day, speaking of racing games, is uh, Outrun. Outrun, Ooh. Outrun's a classic game, man. Play like that on arcade. That was cool. What was the games? It was Need for Speed in the movie theaters and stuff like that. Shout out to all the viewers out there, Marvick Sue Star. Thank you for tuning in to Throwback Thursdays. And we're playing Need for Speed Remastered. And I have a special guest, KD Swag in the house from Young I Like Wrestling. What's going on, guys? All the description information on the bottom. You can get this cool shirt on his web on their website. You can get my cool shirt on my website. ProWrestlingTees.com forward slash Yup ILW. Just log on to Yup ILW.com. You, you, you guys need to make a Yup I like wrestling pin so I can add it to my hat. Oh man, that's something you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta do. I want co sounding on that. <laughs> Am I going the right Sonny, way? Sonny, if you see this, Sonny Sofrito, if you see this, you coming on to the next, you coming next on, on uh, another episode. KD will be back on another episode if you like to welcome if you like to come back. Yeah, Everybody's man, welcome. welcome. To come back, be more than happy to come back. Come back anytime. Come back anytime. So um, other video games that I remember growing up was uh, one video game specifically was a uh, Fantasy Star. Uh -huh. I don't know if you're familiar with that. I remember the first one. Um, that was a thinking game. So wow. a million I mentioned before was a thinking game. You know, and then I got into the whole sports, man. I remember. Um, uh, Lakers versus Celtics. You gotta pay attention to the top because it tells you too the little arrows and signs. Okay. Right, I'm just driving, okay? Driving and talking, man. <laughs> he don't no, know I what's remember, going on. I remember, <laughs> I remember uh, Lakers versus Celtics, the basketball game that later became uh -huh. uh, NBA Showdown and it became NBA Live. You know what I mean? A lot Turn. of people don't know that. Turn. A lot of people don't know about that, man. Because like NBA Live. NBA Live came from. Um, I'm gonna take over the wheel. Take over the wheel, man. I, I'm done, man. I'm, I would have been dead if this was real life. <laughs> um, other video games like the hockey games, all hockey games to me are dope. NHL, John, John Madden football. Oh, all, all the oh, you know, NBA Live, NBA 2K. Ooh. I haven't really got into the wrestling games, all wrestling, any wrestling game that came out for Sega Genesis or right, PlayStation One or Two. Chasing I, us now. The cops are chasing us now. Because when you hit those meters, you gotta go. Pass a cop. Okay. So the cop is chasing us right now. They got all the homeboys that was racing. I remember oh. going. I remember going into um to the to the places of my cousins or friends, playing video games to the end of the night. And a lot of ways, you know, what I'm saying video games got me out of that street life. You know, what I'm saying it's like instead of being, you know, there were times I'll be outside to like wrestling late. too, looking you know, at me wrestling. wrestling. Cause a lot of people don't, a lot of people you know meet growing up don't really like wrestling and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you find them when you go to school, you go to a local hangout mm -hmm. spot, and you find them, you're like, oh stuff. But now since we in the uh the, the era of digital era, we could just find them just like that. Or like, click away, like the George Jessons. I mean, I became a wrestling fan around 1987 or so. I remember watching the first episode of the series. Um, I had Hulk Hogan in it, Andre the Giant, and many of the greats. That was like the first pay-per-view I really, really watched. Um, and I knew about WrestleMania 3 before that, but I didn't watch it live on like, oh. TV or whatever. And ever since then, I was a wrestling fan. I was hooked. A year or two later, Ultimate Warrior came. And I was an Ultimate Warrior fanatic. Too. You know what I mean? Ultimate Warrior. Ah, I like that. You know, he's, he's my all-time favorite wrestler. He's up there with The Rock and Sting. And I was a wrestling fan since the beginning, man. Since like eight, since the beginning of my time, you know what I mean. Like I remember watching highlights of like Bruno San Martino, and later on actually seeing on TV Hulk Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage, you know what I mean, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, Ric Flair. The list goes on and on and on. Man. So we're gonna get into we're gonna get into challenges right now because what we was doing is basically just testing out the game, testing out the cops, testing out the system. Because when you when I what you just got saw while y'all was listening to KD. You know, I was racing the cars. The cars was chasing me. You had a sprint, so a sprint means from here to there. So if you're unfamiliar with running or baseball, it's from home plate to first base. So basically, that's what you gotta do. And then you got the. It's not continuous, man. 
Continuous is a marathon. Continuous is a marathon? Yeah. Spin is just point A, point B, just exactly how RX Superstar was explaining it. He just had to put his little salt bay into it right there. My little, my little, my little, nah, nah, my little sasson. That little sasson, uh, little sasson. Little little sa- sa- you know, I be saying that. I put the sofrito in it, yo. <laughs> he got the sasson, I got the sofrito. <laughs> there you go. So basically, what we're going to get into now is daily challenges. What you do, uh, if anybody's familiar with um, online games, multiple play games, you play every day. You get challenges you got to do. You get rewards. You boost up your, your car. You fix up. Your, you make this money to make you boost up your car. If you look fly, you the illest, you the trillest. We got some resaying Cruising USA and Fast and the Furious, the video game. NBA action. Wow. NBA action. NBA wow. Jam. NBA, NBA Jam. jam. NBA Jam is actually a, a, a symbolic game to me because um, my father passed away when I was 12 years old. And the last time I was actually around him, he passed away in March 10th, 1994. The wow, last time I was crazy. with him was February 27th, 1994, where he walked into my room, kissed me goodbye um, wow. because he was going to go to sleep. I was playing NBA Jam. And I'm a huge New York Knicks fan. Even yeah, he really I, is. Since day one, and I was uh, obviously at that time, I was Patrick Ewing and John Starks playing that video game. But that video That's game. That's who I play with too. That video game is symbolic to me because I was actually, you know, it was the last moment I had with my father. Yeah. You know, I wasn't playing the game with me, but he, with him, but he was seeing me play the game. So, you know, it's, it's, it's games like that. Right man. Now. It's just like, yo, what you just said right now is fire, bro. Good looking. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate that. You know, it goes to show you that family's first. You know, you always got to put your health first and all that and have fun it's playing true. video games. It's true. The thing I love about video games is that some, most of the times it gets you out of your own element. Whatever problems you're going through in life, you're playing a video game, you're concentrating on that game. Like we're concentrating on Need for Speed right now. While we're and talking with you. While we're talking and eating some snacks. Shout out to um, Sour Patch Kids. I don't know. Shout out to Shout Pass Kids. We ain't sponsored by. Oh them. no! Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, Sorry you never about know. That. They Sorry might. They that. might sponsor it after seeing this. When I see that check, I say your name. You know what I'm saying? Like that. <laughs> but the way you saying it, like they giving me confetti. They ain't giving me no confetti, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was saying, like, you know, video games get you. You know, get. It takes you out of the world. Yep, it's exactly, like music. Man. It's like it just take you out the world. And when my father passed away when I was 12 years old, man, I went through a lot of depression. I attempted, I attempted I attempted suicide um, like about six or seven months ago. Suicide later. hotline, guys. You know, you know I've said that all the time. I was really depressed, and I'm not ashamed by saying that. But one thing that really you helped me. You're not ashamed. You're not alone, bro. One thing that really helped me was playing video games. That was good. Because I would play video games from the time that I got home from school all the way to the time of my bedtime, which was around 10 p.m. And, 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 you know, it helps you out, man. It helps you out a lot, man. And I've always uh, vouched for it. You know, even when I stop Same playing, games save lives. Yeah, exactly. It really does, man. A lot of people want want to talk and say that video games makes kids more violent and all that. It helped me. I can't I can't really talk about it for other people, but it definitely helped me. It really right. did. Follow that blue line. Oh man, I want you to drive, man. Nah, you drive. People love when you play the game. It's guests. The guests come and play the game. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, good, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You should have filmed it when I was doing good. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You know? Technical difficulty. A little hype there, buddy. All right, same thing. Same controls. And we're back online. We're back online. The viewers see us out there. Shout out to all the viewers out there for tuning in. Whoa, whoa! What do Girl. you keep pressing? I'm pressing X. Whoa, buddy, whoa! I'm pressing X, man. You know what I mean? So when it comes to video games, you're not pressing X. This is not X, bro. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't pressing that. You press this. Acceleration, oh. the same thing. Okay. You driving like that? Don't press no other buttons. All right. Come on, KD, don't mess it up now. I'm, this is not no editing either. <laughs> but anyway, it happens well, live in effect on here. Right the right right. Superstar. Yeah, just follow the blue line. Where is it? Right there on the map, on your left side. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. There you go. Pay attention, pay attention. You got to pay attention to the game. Guys, you just finished like... saying to us that you sat there for hours and you was hooked on the game like we are now. So let's continue. Shout out to all the viewers out there. Viewers is laughing right now. Oh. But don't feel bad because, you trust me, this is nothing. If you check out season one and check out the other guests, you can see how things happen there. It's live, baby. We live. This is the plug with Arvick Superstar. Thank you for tuning in every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm not going nowhere. We'll bring more 
cool guests just like KD Swagger. It's like a lot of more people just keep tuning in, tuning in, watching my social media. Look, I got people going crazy over the 3D photos. Nobody's doing that. Nah, man, that's some, that's some new wave right there, man. You're going to see a lot more 3D, you know I mean, 3D pictures and stuff. You're the only person that I know that has had that, man, because I have not seen that. He going to tell everybody. He's like, nah, RX showed me that first. You're an innovator, like, man. You're an innovator. Thank you. Appreciate that. I mean, I gotta be like Vince McMahon, man. Yeah, we all gotta be like Vince McMahon, man. Monopolize the whole damn wrestling business. <laughs> you gotta know what you're talking about, whatever field yep. you're in. Do research, man. Gotta network, shake hands, kiss babies, help all Watch your speed, walk cause you don't want the cops chasing you. They won't chase me regardless, man. Be sure I'm with it. <laughs> I'm with it. I was waiting for the blue line. I'm with it. Man, this is gonna be a this is going down in the history of the Puerto Rico Shoot Star. Oh man. First guest of season two. Season two, man. First guest. I'm the lead off header, man. Call me Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson. Go for it. You know what I mean? So Call um, me Ricky Bobby. <laughs> yeah, man. I kinda stopped playing video games when I got into like uh college. He said we need some 3D body slams. We did <laughs> hey, actually like when um when I got when I stopped when I stopped playing video games like that, I got into more like computer stuff, like editing videos and um, social media. So that kind of replaced not my love for video games, but like my time. Mm -hmm. So I would you know be online and I've met a person, met a person, started promoting parties and this and this and that. And, you know, I mean that's how this whole love. Um, yep, I like wrestling. It just like turn it down. Bust you, we bust you, we turn around. That's how this whole Yep, I like wrestling started because it's like. You gotta turn I'm, around, you gotta turn around. Turn around the other way? Yeah, you gotta turn around. Don't tell me you don't know what turn around means. <laughs> I do, man. I just gotta go to the first. You gotta so. turn around. Oh, watch your hit and run. <laughs> oh, if this was Grand Theft Fall, he would have been flying out the window. But Need for Speed is a game, as a fun game. We're having fun. We're having fun. Oh, no, we're having lots of fun. If man. he was by himself at home, he'd be like this, glued to it. <laughs> yo, don't yo. call me until the food done. Yo, I'm, yo, I'm, yo, yo, that's the feeling. Don't, don't make yama. Don't make yama. Don't, 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 don't call me. My nada. Might break night playing this shit. <laughs> but there's a lot of people I know that play racing games in Need for Speed. And actually, this is one of the, one of my uh, cause I don't call fans, I call them supporters okay. out there that suggested it. Cause people could email me at rsustar@gmail.com. You can tell me your favorite snack. If you like to me to try a snack, I will try a snack. Um, whatever video game you want me to play, or should just suggest, I'll consider it. I'll take that in consideration, and maybe it will be one of the games I'm playing. And this is one of the games I'm playing. Shout out to Miguel out there from California who suggested a Need for Speed game. So I saw this and I was like, let's do it. Because this is one of the unique Need for Speed games that you only can play online. You can play offline, but it won't give you the special features that you want to do. And you won't get the daily daily all uh, challenges. You won't be able to upgrade and none of that stuff. Who doesn't want to upgrade their cars and stuff like that, right? So we at the place. So basically what you're looking for is like a garage. So you got to park. So you gotta go inside gotta, the gotta, chicken gotta. place or the restaurant or whatever. Just imagine you home, you chilling, you playing the game, and your cousin's right there. Yeah, they want you to like go to like the exact freaking spot. Like, yeah, damn. you got to like you got to park. Oh man! Now you got to park under it. You see the little arrow above? There you go. So you got to park under. Oh, okay, it. okay. Home. There you go. Yeah. Park. No, you can't park like that. Who parks like that? <laughs> Go to the yellow thing. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go for it. No, go for it. Go for it. You gotta be under that. There we go. I'm in there. I had it. You had to press um R one. Oh, when you get to the place. Yeah. You see, press look R1. at that. And yeah. he's talking about he don't know what he's doing. You see that? <laughs> you see that? He know what he doing. I used to play a lot of video games when I was a kid. Sometimes he you just know what he, he doing. just touch buttons. You, you, you know. But this is the part where he said that he forgot he was playing a game. And it turned into a movie because look at the scenery and stuff like that. Because even though these are real people, they're also graphic out. And you could tell. This kind of remind me of Fallout. This kind of remind me of um, WWE uh, back in the days of 
of like SmackDown, Bring Here Comes the Pain, with stuff like was like this. I was blown away by this, man. This alone makes the video game great. Because I've never seen something like this. Well, welcome to the, well, the glad to bring you here. He's and having an amazing time. He's like, having like, an amazing time. You know what I mean? Things have changed over the years since the Sega Master System Me days. Certain. Technology, man, is a great thing. Yeah, man. the PlayStation X replaced that. And it's, and it's only, yeah, they did. With the Game Shark. Remember, you used to put the Game Shark in the back? Okay. And it used the cheat codes. Uh -huh. I don't know if you've seen your cousin or you played like that, but it was a game, Tomb Raider, when it first came out. Mm -hmm. And people used to die because Laura Croft used to go underwater, and they never fixed that, so you would drown. Oh, wow. So you would have to use a cheat code, and you got to limit breathing and stuff like that. Wow, man, that's, that's great. I used to uh, Street Fighter. I took the turbo, enhanced it more. You could change Ryu's Hadouken into green, any color you wanted. I'm a Ken guy. Remember that, guys. Ken, you could change his outfits and stuff like that without the selection of the game. So basically what they're talking about is like Fast and the Furious vibe you're getting right now. They're talking about the highs. They're talking about this. They're talking about that. You know what I'm saying? She, she, you know what I'm saying? She liked the song with Kanye West and um, Lil, uh, what's his name? Lil Pump. Uh, what's the song? Always You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. Basically, that's who she is. It's like that. But she mad chill, mad cool. I named the song. I didn't use profanity. I, I had to name the song. That's the name of the song. Try your own smoking rebel. That's the verse of it. But ain't that the name of the song? I, I, honestly, I, I've never heard of it. I, I thought you listen to the music, man. I do, man. But I don't know. I can't listen to everyone. You telling me that all of those parties, you don't, don't hear, you don't hear no, the newest, latest songs? Oh, I'm pretty sure, but nah, man. He's straight old school. He like his. Yeah, I'm old school. Nah, I mean, I'm old school. Who you uh, who you like that's new now? That's new now? Yeah. Uh, names that come from the top of my head. That you just you just bop with like that. Like you just like alright, I'm gonna just bop. I mean, um, Chris Rivers, um, a rapper name. I'm going the right way, right? No, go to that blue arrow. Turn it back around. Wait, wait, wait. All right, when I said in the beginning of the show, right? Let me get this real quick. <laughs> so what I said with it, while he was talking, he didn't pay attention, right? So, <laughs> Yo, I, I swear, I did better when the cameras weren't on. So I told I him, you got to press options, right? But we ain't going to let him do that because he's a little technical difficulty. Yeah, make going. it as easy as possible, man. <laughs> Please. So let me tell you, everybody go through this. They're going to tell you, don't press this button, don't press that button. Somehow it really does it. But what's cool about my show is live. So you get that full, like, real feel feeling. The lights you, are on. The lights are on. So you always go to your message. So right now we talked to Mad Cruz. We did messages. We went to them. So we go to the next person, right? Mm -hmm. So we go to Amy. We show the location on the map, right? We click on it. We click on it again. Oh, X, man. right? Now we got the blue. So we head over there right now. You could talk to her you want. You could reply to her. You'd be like, yo, can you meet me? Over here, let's go get a burger in a bottle, you know, some, some rock or whatever, some honey. You know what I mean? So the scene is over. Here comes the incoming call, right? As you can see on, on this side over here, you can see what's going on. KD can't see it because the light is in the way. <laughs> it's behind Movie Mag. I don't know if you can see that little corner over there. It's corner? The corner is a Exclamation little... Exclamation mark? Yeah, you go. See Yo, he got, got eagle eyes. eyes. Yo, you know it's not 2010 nah, it's like, it's, no more, right? It's, it's 2010. What do you mean? It's 2010 now. They said, I'm actually, doctor, when you go to the eye doctor, it'd be like, yo, is it 2020? They were like, no, it's 2010 now. Why? I guess because I'm blind, so my vision is gone. I'm blind, too. I'm wearing but contacts. Some, but there's some people out there that said it, instead of having 2020 vision, it's not because it, people think it's 2020 vision like back in the days because you got perfect vision. Nah, it's 10, and I learned this the other day because it's like, a different this uh, like the session of like viewing of your eyes and stuff like that mm -hmm. i might be wrong guys you guys can google me and email me like y'all always do and tell me what's going on he just killed it he just body he just made the sour patch container submit you know what i'm saying but in the 10 million dollar deviasi sleep a hole 10 million dollar deviasi reese is there now nah, the cops ain't coming yet the cops ain't coming i let them go by <clears throat> I let them go by. What we gonna do is go over to meet other missions. Also, when you're playing this game, you will see other players come on because this is an open world. So you will see other drivers come around, probably come next to you and hit you and stuff like that. 
So we got resistor to rest, total five, 505. That's the beautiful thing about video games today compared to video games 25, okay. 30 years ago is that you can play online with other people. Yep. And the beauty of technology, you know. The where pen pal became a reality. Yep, exactly, man. That's the beautiful thing. And I think it's only going to get better. 10, 15, 20, 30 years from now, uh, you know, technology is going to improve. You know what I mean? Yeah, you might see a virtual me. <laughs> I'm gonna just have it programmed to look like I got this outfit, but really I'm gonna be in my drawers eating uh, the Vito's Cool Ranch. It's crazy how far video games slash the kind of, yeah, I mean, because it got involved with the movie That's graphics. It. Because if it wasn't for the movie graphics, the, the movie graphics, the technology and stuff in that, video games would have haven't evolved it as well. Oh, uh, of course. Because somewhere, somehow, these graphics come from somewhere from another place. Uh -huh. So when you add movies, uh, technology to the video game technology. This is what you get. Right, so it's a beautiful thing, man. And it's like you get Scarface, the game called Scarface that came out. Mm -hmm. You get the Godfather love, that I came out. Oh, I feel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Matter of fact, when I get it, cause when I get it, cause I'm gonna get it's Scarface too, really. What people don't realize is Rockstar mm -hmm. made their own continuation of Tony Montana. What if he lived? Now is it like a gra Grand Theft Auto? Or is it like just that? like wow. Grand Theft Auto? Wow, man! They came out for the PlayStation Three. Scarface is my dude, man. That's, that's the game. real part two. If you really sequel, that's really part two because a lot of people don't realize is that us video game people is that you know we're just like you guys as well. Even though I'm part of like multiple things, geek culture, wrestling culture, a lot of stuff. I'm multiverse, B. like Marvel with DC. Multiverse. My whole thing is Power Rangers. Everybody know I love Power Rangers, bro. Power Rangers is my shit. It was my, uh, it was my gateway. Besides wrestling, but I would, I would have wanted to see a Power Ranger on WWE one time, just one time. They never, they never had a, they never had a Power Ranger on there. Like, no. uh, at least somebody dressed like one or whatever. The only time WWE had a Power Ranger on for something was Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger, White Ranger, or multiple color Ranger, the greatest Ranger of all time. He went on to uh, Xavier's Wood episode of Up, Up, Down, Down. Oh, yes. When they was playing Power watched, Rangers I've Mega watched, Battle. I've watched many episodes of them. Um, I met Down, Xavier Down. Wood at Comic-Con. Oh, really? He's, real, he's just like a real cool dude, yo. He buys beer and food for people. That's real cool because he knows that because he came from that. He's one of those geeks that ain't have nothing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he was watching people buying this and buying that, so... He don't forget where he come from. The John Madden tournament that they had. Oh, I, man. I like watching their John Madden tournament. Did you see him in the Street Fighter tournament with nah, Kenny Omega? I, oh, nah, Kenny man, Omega nah. is another one. And actually, coming up is a wrestling um, event coming up. I forgot the name of it. Where the Bullet Club members are coming. Uh, Kenny Omega, the Young Guns, and Cody Rhodes. To play video games or to fish? No, each other? they're gonna be at a wrestling con. I forgot what it's called. The big event. That's what it's called. The big event. Oh yeah, the big event is always on over here in Queens. Oh, yeah, I know about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be over there. I'm heading over there. I want to go see him and meet him. Nah, it's what's up, man. He's doing big things for the video game department. He's the first one. I like when you said department. <laughs> department, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, he he actually accomplished um a Guinness Book World Record recently yeah for, for uh gaming like he has like the most subscribers ever oh yeah like, yeah 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 to, for, wait like, kenny or, or no, xavier, uh, xavier Woods. yeah of course he got with the youtube uh he, he got the silver one and he got the gold one that alone he's making some great money you know that once you hit us what is it a, a what is it a million subscribers mm -hmm. what is it that you're supposed to reach and then you get the the silver button of youtube i don't know i'm not familiar with that how many YouTube uh, subscribers you have? I have me personally close to thirteen hundred on my personal YouTube, which is a uh, YouTube. Thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred. Not there yet. You with, need a, like a million. Which you can you can you can find me on um, YouTube KD Swagger KD Everything Swagger. Everything will be on the description no, on the bottom. No um no underscore between that and the Yep I Like Wrestling YouTube channel. So they want us to go back to the garage. Has over. 560 subscribers so make sure you Ooh. subscribe yep ilw on youtube when yep, you I like subscribe wrestling. to him you subscribe to me all right exactly. or if you subscribe to him you subscribe to me you subscribe what to i'm yep, doing like now wrestling. is challenges folks complete analog recommended uh i recommended 
events and challenges from your friends to earn bonuses once you beat a friend so basically i'm racing somebody that's online or probably the one of the computers right now so i gotta beat him right now so i never played this game either so this is the first for me for playing this need for speed i, I mean, played all of them when you've played video games for such a long time and you just grab a video game it's like you know it because you got that that mind that thinking you just think and you know what to do when you got the control in your hand you know what i mean that's the beautiful like thing Jay -Z about Z said focus man i live near me yeah man you know what i mean it's Jay -Z. all about focus and um sometimes we get practice that control. When you got so that, about practice. When you got that controller, <laughs> you got that controller in front of your hands. You got the opportunity to try different things in case you get stuck. And life is just like that, man. Oh, I like that. I like life is just like that, that man. Oh, message. You keep, pressing, you keep pressing the X button, nothing happens. You gotta start pressing another button. And sometimes that button may lead you to your destination. Yep. I'll let you to that next level, boss level. Exactly, man. Life is like video games. Video games is like life, man. Speaking of video games and stuff like that, so we know you did the clubs, the promotions, and stuff like that. You know, okay, these are really behind the scenes, guys. I do a lot of things, really man. Really behind the, the scenes. Trades. He's real cool. I always go chill with him. You know what I'm saying? Yup, I, we have Yup, I, I like wrestling. I'll be pretending. I'll be pretending. Yeah, I met KD through Yup, I like wrestling. I met a lot of people from there. Sonny Sofito. You know what I mean? The founder, he's the co-founder. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I was down with you before before we even I do my I, I do my research before I talk to anybody. Man, I hear anything. that, man. I hear that, man. I mean, he been around though, a lot of places and stuff like that, you know? Man, I've been promoting parties for over a decade. See the drift? What I was telling you about right. earlier? So that was the e-break I pressed right now. See, what I'm following is those lines right there. But if KD was on this right now, because he needs like a 24 hours to play this, he need an all night to put out the coffee. You know what I'm saying? But right now, if he played this right now, he wouldn't be like that. I never played this before. I'm just one of those game people. And he could tell you that. Behind the scenes, he could tell you how my... Oh, now I gotta talk too soon. They play me with the e-break. They play me with the e-break. Nah, man, you're definitely a, a smart dude, not just with these video games, but just in general. Man. I appreciate that. And that's the thing, like, in my opinion, video games, a lot of people say, yo, kids shouldn't be playing video games because, you know, it's too much violence and so on and so forth, man. Video games, man, it develops your mind because it gets you to think. It gets you to think and, and, and puts you in spots where you have to make decisions. And video games is a multi-world thing because it's not, every game is different. Yo. And every game is a part of the world, part of the life, and stuff uh -huh. like that. Yeah, it's that some people make video games. Like driving a car soon is gonna be like this. Man, it's already it's already cars out there. I hope not, because you then could I'll Google be crashing. It. You could Google it right now. There are cars out there that this is connected to it. How come you didn't have oh oh sprint race? I was doing a sprint race, yo. Nah, that's what I did was a sprint race. We both figured that out just now. I, I, I think I'm better off doing the sprint race than actually following arrows and stuff like that. So I, know I can follow cars. But it's like Grand Theft Auto, basically. Yeah, I know. But isn't it this game makes you feel like it's Grand Theft Auto, the way the maps are? Oh, stuff yeah, like not, that. of course. It's like Shout it's... out to Rockstar Games out there. You can spark to me. <laughs> I love your games. It, it, it's sort of like a uh, Grand Theft Auto mixed with an outrun. That. That's the feel but that I have. Need for, this Need for Speed, I was getting like Midnight Club. Remember Midnight Club? Okay. Midnight Club. Uh, this one remind me of is Midnight Club because Midnight Club was the game that made it like this, made other driving game simulations evolve because this scene right here is from Grand Theft Auto. This right here is from Grand Theft Auto. This whole thing right here. And in Midnight Club, if you look at Midnight Club one and two, and that looks like that looks like somewhere in the Bronx, you be like, you look. <laughs> That's serious, man. Yo, that Bronx train is crazy, but they crack down on it now. Westchester Avenue, right there. Listen, yo. two a.m. Like Westchester Avenue. I two a.m. to I five a.m. the big Pomeroy. You see it? Weird. The big Pomeroy. Don't play that. Don't play that. <laughs> Don't play that. Don't play because it'll be it may be in the game. You never know. Yo, imagine that, yo. No, but there's other games. There's other games out there I said that have big puns. I said what's just the avenue. What had big pun? A big pun? NBA. Uh, I mean, Def Jam fight for New York. Big pun is in that game. Was big pun in that nah, game? Nah, I don't think he was. Was he in that game? Nah, it was all Def Jam. Artists. Somebody do a research on that for me. There's talks about bringing that game back too. Oh no, I know that. If I'm right, there's a petition online. You're not supposed to know that until the NBA game 
episode. Oh, oh, my bad. You just gotta look, look. See, and he say he don't know about none of this stuff. Look at that. Man, I, I don't know as much as other people. Man, there's people like, for example, yourself, RX Superstar, that's like, I don't know up nothing. here. I Google everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, so, I, mean, know, I know what I know. I have, I have sources. Oh, I like that. See, you got sources. Man. He like, he's like, I got the sources. It's like I got the sofrito, yo. <laughs> Make sure you hit me up because I got that coming out too. My own sofrito. Oh, right. That's real? Yeah. Oh, now I need to go buy that. Everything I do and say on my show is real. I need to go I'm doing. buy that. Either he's going to give me a box of them or I got to go to Top Tomato around my way and get them. Nah, One or the other. They ain't going to have what I got. They ain't going to taste like that because you can eat it with chips. It's like they while eat playing, it by itself. While playing video games. Playing video games, watching a movie, yep. you get your Netflix and chill with your shorties. You be uh -huh. like, yo, what kind of dip was this? Be like, yo, that's the superstar so flicked on right there. And then you give it the WWE smack down. Smack down live. Smack down live. Rock bottom that, up. In the wow. bedroom. In the bedroom. Rock bottom hundred. Hit it with the craft crusher. <laughs> <laughs> so they sent me back into the garage. So basically, we're going to check out how much money we got. Skrilla, the balloons, whatever, Fetty, you know, Euros, whatever. So we're going to go on our cell phone. We're gonna check the message who we got. So we got new contacts. And we got a the guy right here that's looking like the me the freaking joker right here. And that's giving me intrigue. And I'm thinking like a video game player right now. And it's they attempting have, me they to have go text to text messaging in video games, man. Yeah. But wow. but Grand Theft Auto is like ain't that crazy? It was I never mean, another I, guy. I, I, yeah, I know. I mean I played Grand Theft Auto when it was on PlayStation. I don't remember no texting or anything like that. Texting wasn't even around when that game came out. Who knows how it is right now? I don't know, but actually, it was texting in video games. The two-way pager. I don't even know nothing about that. You don't know about the two-way pager? Nah, I never had a two-way pager. Yo, I'm man. showing my age now, man. You know what a two-way pager is, I know right? what a two-way pager is. Because I'm like, yo, every rapper and their mama had a two-way pager. But I never pager. had one. I never had one. I had a two-way pager and I had a voice stream. I had a beeper. I've had two I had beepers. Be I had multiple beepers. I used to lose them. I, used to, I had one or two beepers. You know how you can spell you can spell hell? I used to tell people, yo, seven seven, seven three eight four. Is it? Seven seven no, three no, four. No, it's on four. Uh, four, four three four three seven seven. No, I didn't put seven nah, seven. Nah, nah, it's it, it's seven seven one, one. seven seven three four, and you reverse the pager and it says hell. Yeah, That's I don't know about is, the man. seven. I used to. I, I just taught one. you millennials something new: uh, how to read beepers. Those are Morse codes in the streets. Throwback Thursday, man. Gotta know your Throwback Thursday stuff. Yeah, so that's the beepers. Technology. How you eat with a two-way pager, bro? That was the that, no, was, I never had that was the sidekick before the sidekick. That was what sparked the sidekick. Nah, I skipped all that. And went to a Motorola cell phone. He said I skipped all that. Went to Motorola. Yeah, I skipped all that. What was I chirp? got my first cell phone in two thousand and three. I had the chirp too. I had the chirp and I still too. Had the same number. Then. I was Batman, bro. Like I had a utility belt, bro. Like I had a two-way pager here, beeper here. All that stuff here. I let the people go because it was out of style. I had a voice stream flip phone. The flip phones back in the day was a little by. I had the Zach Morris cell phone. <laughs> like, don't, don't. Like, Shout I'm out going. to Zach Morris. Yo, you ever seen that joint on YouTube? I mean, on Facebook, Zach Morris is trash. You never nah. seen that? It'd be like, Zach, you know, you ever heard of uh, Fun or Die? No. You never seen HBO? You never seen Funnel Die? No, not Like at the all. comedian skits? Well, they created something where it's called Zach Morris's Trash, where the narrator breaks down the episode of, of Saved by the Bell okay. and saying how Zach was never really a friend to nobody. He just, He's a schemer. He uses people. That man is deceptive. He uses Yo. friends to get ahead in life. He hurts them. He breaks their heart. He's a, uh, he's selfish. Everything. So he breaks it down and it makes me laugh. It's it's crazy because he kind of not I want to say he wants to be like that because yo Zach Zach Morris was my guy you know what I mean and I kind of grew up so, watching him and it kind of like I, I took like his character so we got into six, mine. We got six thousand dollars, KD. Six thousand dollars. So let's see if we can soup up the car because we got to show the audience out there because the show is almost over. Seven twenty, we out of here, folks. Let's, let's go ahead. Let's go to the mechanic and all that. We right? right here. So what you want to work on? We got the front. I want some, oh, let me see. Hold on. Let me we see. got six grand. We can't unlock the lights yet. We don't got the front fenders unlocked yet. What about the rims? We don't got the, the rims. Are high. Wing mirrors. 
We don't got the rear fender. Let's, 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 uh, oh, no, no. What can and we, we got? Oh, we got the rear bumper. We could do that. Let's do the rear bumper. Make it a strong rear we bumper. Got the, we could do the wheels. Um, I like the rims. The rims the are wheels. all right. So, all right. So, we could, we could do is, What do you guys oh, think about? Do what, do you guys, what do you guys think? What do, what do you think that we need to change here? Front bumper. Shout out to all the viewers out there. I think we lost our viewers when we did have a little technical difficulty. But they will come back and watch us. And they will have it in the description. But we're going to decide for them. So we got to adjust the stand. Then we got the splitter. Right? We got the front bumper. We got the... Whatever it makes the car better, man. I'm we good. got the window. But it's your ride, though. Pimp my ride right now. We about to pimp your ride. Um, so, change the bumpers. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hot. That's so hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see the description right there. What kind yeah, change of that. Change that. Bumper you got. You want to make sure you got your whole car mechanic to fit the way you want. Because what I didn't tell you guys also in these games now, the AI program, uh, uh, official intelligence, artificial, artificial, blah, blah, blah. artificial, uh, artificial intelligence has taken over the game world. You understand? So the game evolves. So the game has win. The, the game has real slick roads. The game has tires that will blow out on you and will like do that little ski ski. Ski ski. Ski ski. The same the hood. So you want to make sure you want to know what you're buying. So we're going to buy this. It's 408 bucks. We got that. We're going to buy that. We're going to boost it up. It's looking sexy right now. Kind of look like Bumblebee, the movie that's coming out from Transformers. Starring John Cena. He's John a wrestler. John Cena. Yep, I like wrestling. That's right. Check See that out. All that? He's a big John Cena fan. Yes. I met KD, and he had, like, a I John think Cena almost shirt. every shirt John Cena he no, had. No, not really. I had no? one John Cena shirt. One John Cena shirt, excuse me. And he had a, it was a yellow? It's a yellow one. A it's bright a, yellow, straight Spanish. You can't see me in the back. Straight and Spanish. And a picture of him like a comic book hero in the front. That's hot. So now, this is where we feel with, he's the mechanics right now, so. Mm -hmm. We fixing the high. We could bring it down if we want to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It depends on how you built your car. Mm -hmm. you nah, I'm, I'm, nah, nah, we good, we good, we good. I, I don't think the height. There was nothing wrong with the height. You like the height? You like the way? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You drop I, just want the, I just want the. I just want the. Um, you could navigate the wide. You could change the wide, the front, the rig. No, nah, I'm good. The. I just, got, I, just, I, I just gotta find that blue arrow, man. My car is fine. Okay, he don't want that. Hold on, we just upgraded your car a little bit. What you mean it's fine? You just got hyped over the new hood right now. Your joint looking like a transformer, Bobby. Just like that. Look like Civic in the hood, man. <laughs> and the girls call me Bobby Shampoo. Bobby Shampoo. All right, now this is the bottle, so let's take it out. Let's look. Right. Woo! Nah, that's hard. Right there, that shit is hard. Right you like there. that? You yeah, want I that? Like that. Oh, there we go. Five hundred. We got it. We got it. Ooh. What else is next? We could uh, adjust the steering. No, we did that already. He likes the way it is. From bumper, we already did it. All right, let's go see what else is unlocked. So we also have windows. What a lot of people do with they have gaming show, they don't explain what they have to do. They just sit there and just talk and reminisce like back in the days, like we just okay. had to do and stuff like that. Okay. But none of them really sit there and talk about the mechanics of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like get this game and play. So you want the windows dark, dark, or you want to see? Nah, I want, well, the front window, I want it to be light. I think we only could do one. This ain't like Grand Theft Auto where you can switch the... Oh, make the, it as dark as possible. Dark as possible. Creeping on the come up. There we go. All right, so we got the front done. So we could adjust the wheels as well. Let me see the rims. Let me see the, the different traces of I'm rims. I'm about to go to the rims. So the rims, we could go to the rims, change the rims. You got to hook, your, rim, you gotta hook your rims up, man. It's like your shoes on your feet. We could paint the rims, too, so you could have some gold BBM rims. And what's cool about this Need for Speed, you could change the side of the rims. So you could roll on some yep. 24, 28, you know what I'm saying? Let's turn, turn these rims into some Nike right, foams. So there we go. There we go, Nike foams. There we go. Because Nike foams are very durable. Ooh, I like that one. Go back, go back. Ooh. You Let me see. All right, hold on. You work. All right, all right go back. Let me see the other ones. Go. Go ahead. Ooh. That's nice, sir. Let me go back, go back, go back, go back. Which one is that one? Before that. That one. Ooh. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Check out wrestling, but we yeah, don't yeah, want that. Them. Nah, nah, no, 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 no. Oh, I hate go the more expensive ones now. Oh, I don't even. I mean, everybody got their own, uh, their own per se, like uh, what they go. Go get. back to the one that I like. It, it begin with a V. All right, let's check them out before we go back. Yeah, I don't want to go all out on that. 
Ooh. I seen that. You seen that last one? That last one was fire. All right, the one you had, the one you like. I that one. Is this one right here. Now, can you see it from far away? Like, can you zoom out? Zoom out. You want to see how it looks from out? Nah, not really. It was All right, so pick that. those. Pick those rims. So if you like these, those, right? Yeah. No. Thick? No, 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 no. Go back. It was those. those no, no, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. It was those. Those? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, possibly. You sure? Yeah. Don't that. tell me you going to be like Biggie Small no, and start that. complaining that he no. had his 13 side shoes. No. This one right here? No, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Go back. This one? No. This one? That one. Uh, yes. Yep. 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 yep, yep, yep. yep. I'm sorry. Yep. I'm not allowed to say yes on yep. this program. Yep. That's right. Yep. So we changed the rim. Uh -huh. So we could change the paint if we want. We could add metallic, cold, grown. Cold. No, no, no. Like I said, I like the way it was originally. Silver? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Shots. So we stand up. So we back. Nah, nah, that's too dark. Oh. You pick, yeah, yeah, the lighter it could be. All right. I like my rims, my women, and my liquor the same way, light. Apply to all rims. There we go. <laughs> there you, I hear you, James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this right here we mess with? <laughs> light and thick. <laughs> I hear you, slim thick. I'm about to put slim that song thick. on. Yes. No, I'm bugging out. My bad. We put the color back. There we go. Apply the old rims. And that's basically it. The size. Hey, some people size nah, I just want I just want durable wheels, man. Alright, you just want the regular joke. I want I want the ones that you could put a, a nail in it and it, it won't go out of air oh. until like you drive fifty miles or something. Oh, you can change the tires. Oh, you can change the tires. No, nah, I'm good. I like the tires. No, nah, no. Nah. You can put better racing style for more duo, for it won't blow out. All right, so yeah, those are the one. I want those. And which ones? The most expensive ones? The best ones you got. The Need for Speeds. There you go. Since we play Need for Speed, yeah, right? Yeah, fits. Shout out to all the viewers out there for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to all my channels. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and RX Susa. I subscribe to my Twitch. Chat with me. Talk with us. Leave a voicemail. Email me at rxsusa.gmail.com. Check out... Every episode of season one and season two of the Plug with RSU Star. Check out my vlogs. Yep. Check out everything I do. Yep. You can check me out. KD Swagger. Swagger. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, SoundCloud. Ooh. KD Ooh. underscore Swagger on Twitter. KD underscore Swagger underscore 914 on Instagram. KD Swagger no underscore on YouTube. SoundCloud KD underscore Swagger. Swagger with an ER at the end. No relation to the wrestler Jack Swagger. That's right. All American. He's doing good, isn't he? In Impact Wrestling now? No, he's not. He actually did a show with a BCW Recombination Wrestling, which one of their owners, Anthony Cole, was on uh, one of our recent episodes of the Yep I Like Wrestling podcast. You can check that out. Shout out to Sonny Sofrito, Teddy, the greatest Sonny. GM in Yep I Like Wrestling history. Teddy is funny. Shout out to Tara. Teddy is you know what I mean? funny. Tara, I never met her. Man, Wait, Tara's was cool. A, Tara was cool. She's shout out to everybody well. out there. Teddy's hilarious, man. He's definitely a unique character, man. The best general manager of Yup I Like Wrestling. The greatest, greatest the greatest, the greatest, of the yep, I like the greatest a champion of all time. Yeah, that's the greatest, man. So, yeah, that's our team for our podcast. We have other people coming on on our podcast. We just did an episode 48 at New York Comic Con featuring RX Superstar. So, check out. Yep, I Like Wrestling podcast episode 48. Check that episode out on YouTube because you can actually see the video and RX Superstar makes an appearance there, man. Ooh, you know, so he, he just recently fly. posted it up on his Instagram, a part Ooh. of the episode. And we've had a lot of different people Check on. Check out the interviews. You never know. You yes. see your friend that you chill with on there. You never know. Yes, we have a segment called Yep on the Street so where we, we interview fans from the street. We also have interviewed, um, we've also do separate interviews uh, we did it for uh, Mark Henry, Noel Foley, the daughter of Mick Foley, Tito Puente Jr. A sexy ass. You know what I'm saying? Simon I'm Gotch of the Vol Villains. I spoke for every fan right there. Hip hop gamer of Hot 97. I'm sure if you're in a video game field, you're, you're familiar with hip hop gamer, especially in your, you're in the New York area. And we've also had interviews with independent wrestlers such as the New York Wrecking Crew from House of Glory, Isaiah Ooh. Wolf from uh, Warriors Ooh. of Wrestling. Marcus Marquis, That's the call. Andros okay. the Greek from Warriors of Wrestling, Ace Andrews um, of uh, Recombination Wrestling, shoes. Joe Key Morales of Battle Club Pro. We've also had an interview with, uh, who else? Uh, 
really can't think of anyone else. You, but you, you, gotta, you can catch out. all that on the YouTube, YouTube channel, channel yep, and like the social media. Com forward slash yup, ILW. All of our podcast episodes, as well as our interviews, is on iTunes, Stitcher, Tuned In, SoundCloud. Look us up on there, man. We're a brand for wrestling fans. Yup, I like wrestling. We've been around since September 15th. Come get some hot 2011. Wings. We are having a WWE Crown Jewel party tomorrow at Legends Bar at 6 West 33rd Street, a block away from Master Square Garden in Midtown Manhattan. But we're also doing a NXT TakeOver War Games party as well as a Survivor Series party at oh, Legends yeah. Bar. Well, you for get more there. information, yup, ILW.com. Find us on any social media application there is. If not, you can just hit up RX Superstar and he'll, he'll yeah, be the you, plug. You'll see that he'll on my social plug, media. Man. I'll be going to the rest of the show. So take you there, man. He'll take you to the party himself. I haven't been for a while because I've been doing my own thing and stuff like that. But I always support. I always support because I like wrestling. Man. Yeah, man. I mean, people like Mark Henry, Teddy Long, Makishi, Virgil, JTG, Look how fast e, the car is. Shelly Martinez. Um, Sonny the Hall of Famer, you know what I mean? Come get a Sonny Sofrito burger. All of those individuals plus others in the wrestling business, Sam Roberts, you gotta Peter Rosenberg, about the food, KD. You gotta they've, all, about the food. they've all been to our parties or they've all hosted our parties along with oh, other people. MVP oh, is so another that. one, Marty Jannetty, and Marty yes, Gennetti. the food at our parties are great. Trust me, try the wings, try the Sofrito burger, ask for KD Swagger. And I'll take care of you or ask for something Finger, so good, though. Licking good wings, the teriyaki with the barbecue sauce. I don't know what it is. It's yeah, Korean man. sauce. All our parties, no matter. We do parties in different places. But to know about all our parties, man, definitely. If you like the link up with if you like the link up with KD Swagger and you want to go to a Yankee game or any a Nick game or, or a Rangers game or a Giants game, he's that type of person. Fun, yeah, hanging around cool you, people. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Get him beer, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, more people got to buy me beers when I do things for them, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, man. Yep, I like wrestling. We're a brand for wrestling fans, and a lot of us are nerds when it comes to video games, man. Just because someone's into wrestling doesn't mean it's a, uh, doesn't mean they're not into other things. I'm not a nerd. I'm a geek. I'm offended by that. It's a difference between a nerd. Ain't and nothing a wrong with being nerds. Nerds, nah, are, nah, nerds nah, are taking nah, over. I'm the not world. saying nothing wrong. I'm not nah, nah, a geek. It's taking over. Nerds is the two different things, and I just crashed and I hit a boo boo and stuff like that because he called me a nerd. All right, a nerd is someone who is wearing. If you ever seen Revenge of the Nerds, that breaks down what a nerd and a geek is, because that why you think there's so many different shows that determine what's a geek and what's a nerd. All right, a nerd is someone who is highly intelligent in math and science and all that, and that's what he's into and stuff like that. And he has a little uh, pocket protector. Pocket protector. Hold on, KD. Don't yawn and get bored yet. You know what I'm saying? He has a pocket protector. He has a little button-down iron, you know, no crease in the collar like a grease would, like a geek, geek would do. You know what I'm saying? He got the no tie with a little button open. He got the little... Little, uh, uh, what is it called? The Dockers on. He got the little JC Penny loafers with the pennies on them, and he's chilling there. He's like, "Hey, man, how you doing?" And he talks like this, and he winks his glasses like this, and he's like, "Hey, how you doing, KD Swagger? My name is Nerd Superstar. How you doing? Hey, I can do your taxes and calculate everything for you. Yeah, let's go. No, it's yeah, yep. yeah, yep. yeah. So when a geek comes, it's like me. It's just calm, calm, cool. He got his own little fashion and stuff like that. Got that swagger. Swagger. I, but I got that mojo like Austin Powers. Yeah, baby. But I consider a geek as someone who's into multiple things like wrestling. Because a nerd is not into that. He's nerd. The nerd is into, again, his paper, building a house, building a, like a church like Mel Gibson buying land and stuff like that. A geek guy is someone that goes to the, yup, I like parties, hang out with a bunch of people. They ain't worried about numbers. They ain't worried about this. They ain't worried about they that. They just worried about they their just food, worried about their having entertainment, fun. and meeting other what wrestling, wrestling nerds. nerds. Excuse me, wrestling geeks. geeks. Just Jeez. like you. And you come to our parties and you meet new people. I don't they consider him friends. a nerd. I consider him as a geek because he does geek out when it comes to sports. Geeking out is different. Um, whatever, whatever you into, basketball, sports, video game, 
sculpting, um, people, painting, whatever you in. That's what a geek is. A nerd is someone that is just numbers and math and talks like this, folks. Yep, 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 yep. That's crazy, man. So, KD, we played the game. We saw you crash. We had a technical difficulty. Yeah, man. I, mean, you, I would have been We body our life. snacks. We body our snacks. Yep. No you know more, what I'm saying? And no more. And I, and I didn't ask him for one. And I know past guests have asked him for candy. His own candy after they devour their own. I see. I watched. I did it. Well, I, I shit. I kept I my still, word. I still I shit. My I word. still got some. Look. I still shit. You want some? Oh, yeah? Can you? Well, go ahead. Oh, man. Ooh. I want to devour. I want to take Nah, don't leave me like that. Don't do me dirty. Don't leave me outside. These are delicious. Oh, my God. We had these on Tuesdays. Make sure you check out Tuesday's episode. I had a fun time. I played this game. I'm going to rock out by myself with this game. Go get this game. It's a cool game to play by yourself or play with the family that comes over and stuff like that. Make sure you do your challenges. Take your snapshots of your selfies. Jump into the garage. Fix up. Upload your games. Hold I know. Up. Hold up your car. I know you guys are looking at the Call of Duty guys over here and stuff like that. You can actually, it's from the same uh, creators, so I think it's like a Call of Duty uh, car in here, a limited edition car that's in the game. So one of these cars is painted like Call of Duty. Okay. So that's in this game. And we got Crash Bandicoot and stuff like that. I think Ooh, that's there. Crash Bandicoot, man. Oh, no, those are 20 players. Those are people from around the world that I play, that played this game, too. Oh, sorry about that. But it might be that in the game. I haven't played this game, but check it out. Go buy it. Go purchase it. It's on sale. It's a six-buck game. You can't beat that. No. Six dollars. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. Plus tax, whatever. Um, I'm not used to seeing video games at six dollars, though, to be honest. Not in this so day and age. Yeah, not, not in this, in this day, day and age. age. See, but that's when you know that. a geek like me, you know, we do the little... You gotta little, know your ways, man. You gotta be you gotta be like that snake in the grass, man. You gotta know your ways to get to now, where I wanna be a to. snake in the grass. I'm more nah, like Homer yeah, Simpson just, beating a snake up. Not a snake in the grass. That's a... It's a, Never bad, be. It's a bad It's a bad term nah, right there. Nah, not really. You can just call somebody a snake in the grass. You gotta watch out when people are snakes in the grass. Yeah, you gotta watch the back period and stuff like that. Well, KD, we're out of here with Momo Fist. It. No There's no Look, more. It. He's come gonna on, come back. Man, I wanted to play more. He's man. gonna come back. I wanted to talk to you guys more. He's gonna come back. We're gonna look at this challenge. Let's really win? When I'm gonna come back? You gotta stay tuned. When you gotta stay tuned? Tuesdays and Thursdays, live on Twitch, 6 p.m. Eastern time, East Coast time. Oh. Right? 3 p.m. West Coast time. And if you want to know more about me, KD Swagger on um, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, as well as make sure you guys look up Yep, I Like Wrestling, yupilw.com for all information on all social media platforms, as well as anything related to wrestling, such as wrestling news. News on our parties and events. We do every pay-per-view. We recently did All In. Name the WWE pay-per-view event and we do it. Look us up, Yep, ILW. Yep, I like wrestling on all social media platforms. We are a brand for wrestling fans. We do pay-per-view parties. We have our own podcast. The gamers come out. We have our own segment called Yep on the Street. We also have interviews with Mark Henry, Noel Foley, Simon Gotch, Hip Hop Gamer of Hot 97, Tito Puente Jr., amongst other people. Check us out, man. Wow. You definitely won't be disappointed. All right, Superstar, we'll tell you how we are. Stay tuned, folks. Keep following. It's great. Great environment and stuff and like that. And it's been a pleasure to be on this show. Yeah, Never you. ever let anybody tell you about anything about not playing video games. Playing video games, it helped me out. I was born into the special ed. I said my first words at when I was around five years old. I'm actually an autistic child. I got out of the special ed in the fourth grade, and one of the things that helped me a lot was playing video games, man. And this video game, Need for Speed, even though I was struggling with the game, have my good moments when the camera wasn't on, but yo, dude, I highly recommend this game because I really want to play this game all night. But yo, you're hugging up the controller, and we're about to be out. My bad, yo. I'm over here. You over here doing the best promos in the world right now. We having a battle right now. You know, saying what can I say? But stay tuned. Stay tuned to all my social media outlets. Go to the events that I post up. Yeah, Get man. Get connected with people. Come to network. Want to be a guest? Hit me up. If you see KD and you see KD's posts and stuff like that, let me know. That, let me know you actually watch this, this, uh, this episode. Tell me what you think, man. And, and um, 
Definitely hit me up. Definitely hit up the uh, Yep yeah, I Like Wrestling and find us on all our events. I'm actually doing a challenge before we go. So if you want to do this and send us out, it's up to you. No, I'm good. No, I'd rather just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got sweat. We were... <laughs> I had that WWE 2K feeling in my head because thinking I was gonna play that. Next thing I'll find out, I'm playing Need for Speed. Yeah, baby, that's how it so is. I had, take, I had to take it back to my outrun. That's days. how it is. But he did a great job, folks. He did a great, wonderful job. You know, because what he's not realizing is, is that he gave you guys an experience of a person who never played the game and what you go through, and also his first time being on a streaming gaming show. That is multiverse in every aspect field of mankind that is true. entertainment. That is true. I'm RX Superstar. And I'm KD Swagger. And we'll see you. I mean, I'll see you next Tuesday. You'll see KD at Crown Jewel this Friday yes. at Legends Bar in New York City. And the NXT TakeOver War Games. And... WWE Survivor Series and oh, WWE TLC and oh, WWE Royal Rumble. Check us out. Oh, yep, I like wrestling oh, Swagger. Oh, they catching me. They catching me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we out. We out. It's over. It's over. Yeah, it's over. Oh, Buster Yui. Yo, it's like three of them following me. They need to revoke our licenses, yo. <laughs> In virtual world, we can't we can't <laughs> drive like this. Whether it's real life or virtual, man. Nah, I wouldn't drive like this. I'm an excellent driver. Just don't talk to me. I got my license. <laughs> I got my license in like I think it was 2000. I got my license. My license is clean. Oh snap! Yo, we about to go on road trips and everything. All right, folks, we out of here. The cops are chasing me. We're gonna continue playing this game. Yep. Make sure you share with your friends and family. And I don't got my green card, so you know I'm going in. Just kidding, <laughs> with that. just kidding, just kidding. I was born in Yonkers, New York. Always, like I, like I told you at the beginning of the show. Always tune in, never tune out. I'll see you guys next week. We out of here. Peace out. Yup, I like wrestling. Yep. I like wrestling. And.